Welcome to another edition of Hub City Times Presents Authors Corner. I'm your host, Peggy Sue Beslick. And today I have with me David Mohn, the author, and his artist for the book, Kirsten mm. Richardson. Thank you guys for joining me. Well, thank you for doing this. And so let's start off with what book you have for us today, Dave, because we have had you on before. You have. This is your second book that you've written. Yes. And what is the name of this book? This one is called Sammy the Cornstalk. Okay. And yes. so can you tell us a little bit about Sammy the Cornstalk? Well, Sammy the Cornstalk, he, uh, he grows up with all his other brothers and sisters, you know, in a cornfield, and um, it explains in the book of, of how a cornstalk grows and how he's knee high on the fourth and how he grows a tassel when he's done growing in the, in the cobs. And at the end of the fall, the farmer's going to take all these corn cob, corn stalks and, and take them down. But he tells a few of them they're going to stay up. Um, just to watch over the field. Um, and I got the story from if you go in some of the corn, by the, some of the corn fields, there is one corn stalk or a couple that are standing up. And I thought, well, you know, this is it. So when that happens, um, Sammy gets thinking that, you know, my brothers and sisters are all gone. I'm, I'm old based on a corn's age, corn stalk's age. But then he starts thinking of the five senses that we have in life and how those five senses can really help us when we're struggling with life and we're having a bad day when you're lonely. And so he honed on in on those and he shares his five senses and what makes him feel good. He encourages other people to look at the five senses of life and, and so we can be okay in life. So he goes through that and then he says how much it helps him and he encourages us when we're down, when we're having a bad day, just, just think of one of the five senses and what it does for you, you will be fine. You will be good through life. And what age group is this targeted to? You know, I, I, I'm thinking it's like 6 to 10, you know, 8 to 12, because there's such a, such a meaning with the five senses in there. Okay. So. And now this is, like we said, your second book. The yes. first book you illustrated yourself. Yes. And this year, or this book, you took a little bit of a different approach. I, I did. I, you know, the first book, um, my illustrations are not good <laughs> at all. They were not good at all. So I thought, I got to find somebody that, that will illustrate. Um, and my wife worked a physical, with a physical therapist and he, her, the physical therapist's husband was the art instructor at the grade school in Auburndale. Okay. So I called him. And, and Marty was not able to do it because of COVID and everything else, um, but he would pass it on to the, um, the high school art instructor, which was Carl. So I thought, okay, you know that. And then all of a sudden, one day, you and Carl gave me a call mm -hmm. yeah. and, and said, yeah, I have a, a student that would be willing to take on the project. And um, so we talked a little bit on the phone. And part of the hard thing was um, we met in the lobby of the Auburndale High School, and, and the only communication we could do is through that or by email. Um, so we went, met in the um, lobby. I had some ideas of what the pictures I wanted based on where we were in the book. <laughs> I just left it up to Kirsten. Yeah. And so that leads us to you, Kirsten. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. So how did this all happen for you? Your art teacher maybe approached you, or can you tell us what happened there? Yeah, so she um, brought us a little paper explaining like what we had to do, and she brought it to our class. We were an AP class, and she asked if anyone wanted to do it. And I walked up, and I was like, I would love to. This, this sounds so fun. And she's like, that's great, because I wanted you to do it. And that made me feel like oh. yeah. So then we gave him a call and got all the details, and then we started it. And so you go, you head to Auburndale High School, and what year are you? 11th grade. Okay. And do you have, like, aspirations to be an artist, or what are your hopes? I actually want to go into ministry, so not down that okay. path, but... <laughs> Is this your first time doing something like this? Uh, yeah, that was my first time. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully Dave writes a few more books. And... Yeah, I actually did another one of his books. Yeah, there's another one being published. Oh, wait, book number three, Dave. Book number three. You've been busy. Uh-huh. <laughs> so what's book number three about? Book number three is 
Um, the title of it is Conversations with My Dog Bella. Okay. And I've always, I've always thought, if dogs could talk, what kind of conversations would we have with them? And then, so I took um, real events that happened in Bella's a little white Maltese. Okay. Um, and, and I took um, story, real life stories that have happened in her life while she's been with us. Um, and I put them into each chapter. Um, like there's, there's one chapter where um, when we first got Bella, she was one pound, very small, little fuzzball. Um, so I got home from work. It's really windy and gusty. I took little Bella out to go potty, and a wind gust came and blew her like a tumbleweed. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. So the story goes on that, you know, when I got to Bella after she was a tumbleweed, um, she looked at me and said, is, if this is what life is going to be on Earth, I don't want it. That's what Bella's thinking, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I picked her up and I said, Bella, are you okay? And then Bella goes, but you know, after you hugged me and you asked me if I was going to be okay, life is going to be wonderful here. So each little chapter has a nice little inspirational ending to it. Okay. So um, that's the third book that I asked Kirsten to do some. It's exciting. For. So how long did it take to do the illustrations for this book? This book, oof. Um, it, was, it wasn't terribly long. I think it was like a month or two. I can't remember very well. But I got super stressed in that time because that was the first time I did it. Yeah. It was really But fun. Dave's an easy guy to work with. Yeah. So he made it a little less yeah. painful maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so how did you like determine what to do? draw he kind of told you or did you have a copy of the book itself that you could read and do a picture fitting to it yeah so he gave me um uh like a book with all the pages like with the story on it and then he gave me a separate sheet with picture one picture two picture three and he gave me a description of which like what he wanted for each one and then he also gave me like little clip arts to show like this is kind of what i want and then i just kind of went off of that and tried to add in a little bit of spark here and there <laughs> Your special touch. <laughs> <laughs> That's really neat. Yeah, yeah, very happy with her drawings. Yes. Dave did a good job on his too. He's kind of being hard on oh. himself. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> we'll stick to being the writer. Right, Dave? We'll stay there. Yeah, we have an artist. There too. you go. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Perfect. And when is the next book supposed to be coming out? I don't know. Um, when you sign the contract, and I shared this with before, the contract scares me because it's 10, 10 day pages. Um, and in there, it, it has within 170 days. Okay. Um, and I just sent it in, oh, gee, a month, two months ago? That's when I picked up the, the pictures from you at the... Yeah. And that cheese. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. So they have it, and um, they're in the process of editing that one. Okay. Um, and so this one is currently out. And so, if people out. want to purchase this, how do they go about doing that? They go to the buyer's guide office. We got that Times. one down, Pat. <laughs> Up City Times. <laughs> oh, sorry. Up City <laughs> Times. Um, you can go to Dorrance Publishing Company. Um, that's who published the book for me. It's also on, um, you can order it online at Amazon and at barnesandnoble.com. Okay. So it's out there. Yeah, we're still kind of in the promotional stages there, so. Um, but it is available. It is people. available, yes. Okay. Yeah. Just like you said, at Hub City Times, if people want to get it locally, maybe for a Christmas present. Right. Yeah, it'll be there. Okay, great. Anything else either of you'd like to add? No, I, you know, I went back to that first interview and I remember you asking me if I was going to write another book. And you wouldn't give me any leads then. I, I, I didn't because I really didn't have any leads and you asked me if it would be another vegetable. I remember that. <laughs> yes, I, I did oh, too. <laughs> no, probably not. Uh, What's corn? <laughs> yeah, well, it's a, it's a vegetable. <laughs> so, but now book number three is it's about an animal. It's an animal. So we're kind of branching off we, we are, we are. Dave's comfort zone. Yeah, we are. And what's book number four, Dave? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's going to be another animal. Probably. Well, 
I don't know. I, I, my wife is sick of being the person who has to listen to all this and critique it before it goes to the manuscript part and what I should add and what I should not add, especially for the dog, because um, she's part of that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, she says, no more books for a while. So you might have a, an artist to, you know, put ideas off of, you know, just, uh, maybe, she's maybe a great game. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can come up with a bunch of pictures and I'll come up with the story. That'd be fun. Well, there, there you different you go. things. <laughs> That'd be fun. That would be, you're in charge this time. That sounds good. Book number four, we heard it. <laughs> and so what is your favorite thing to draw? Um, it's kind of crazy. I actually, my dad are really close. He's like my best friend, so I like to draw him a lot. Or like way oh. up, I like to just draw eyes too. So you know, well, your dad will have eyes, <laughs> so I get to yeah. So it'll be a story about her dad, Dave. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, boy, I'll have to meet with members of the family to get all kinds of stories. Well, the pictures so, might lead you. Well, to... yeah, well, you know, i got to have a writer. Can I just like, make it like a fantasy world kind well, of thing about what your dad story. is? Yeah, he's like so. Hulk, so we can make like a Hulk kind of story out of it. <laughs> oh, this could Ooh. be very interesting. We're on to something here. <laughs> ah. A daughter's view of her father. Ooh, that's pretty good. I got plenty of pictures for that. <laughs> no, what is I, I might have to write this one. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'll edit it for you. <laughs> Anything else you guys would like to add? Uh, the one thing I'd like to add is um, I know I put it in the book. But I put a big thank you in the book for Kara. Mm -hmm. Kara was the art instructor. She was the mentor between Kirsten and I. And I, I think she kept both of us grounded in a sense. Yeah. You yeah, know. Times where I was like really worked up about the book and she just brought me into her office and she's like, calm down. Like, it's going to be okay. So she really helped out with that. Yeah. Well, it's a great experience and, for you. And, yeah. And with that communication with COVID, not being able to meet as often or all that. Yeah. She was a mediator between us two, and that was just super. Yeah. It and she's really, a teacher at Auburn High She School. was. Yeah, she, she was. Oh, it was. Yeah, she, yeah. Now she's a professional artist. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so, kind of I still keep in contact with her because I want her to see the finished product. I did send her a book. Yeah, that's awesome. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah. And she put you two in contact with each other, which yeah. made this all happen. She, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And something cool that you can put on the resume. Yeah. That's what we talked about one of the first times is how this can really help with your portfolio, resume, and everything yeah. else. And yeah. They're super. <laughs> nice. You know, I've given this to my family, I've given this to some <laughs> of my friends, and they browsed through that and was wondering who did the illustration. Really? <laughs> yes. And I told them to read the back where you are. Yeah. And I know I, ha I have you as a junior, but when you actually did them, you were a sophomore. Yeah. Yeah. And they couldn't believe <laughs> that it was a sophomore that did these pictures. They were yeah. so impressed. Oh Seriously. <laughs> that's so, awesome. yeah. so this is, that's what makes a book. You know, you can write anything you want, but if you don't have the illustrations, the wonderfulness part mm -hmm. of that, you don't have a book. <laughs> I I'm guess, serious. yeah. You know, really. Yes. You know, Based on my doggone you know, street <laughs> maybe a little tater book. <laughs> the tater book was cute. <laughs> it, it was. Um, but I just wanted to share that. As, as and they were, I mean, I have not gotten a chance to read the book yet, but I have looked at the pictures. <laughs> Pretty good. I think they, you could be professional if you want to be. They, they are really good pictures. Your pictures. <laughs> I was joking, I'm not yours. <laughs> you can oh, be a professional I, artist. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so the viewers need to check out the little tater and Sammy, and Sammy the corn stock. Yes. And either book can be purchased at Hub City Times. Yes. Well, once again, thank you both for joining me well, today. Thank you so much for thank doing this for nice. us. And thanks for doing this for Dave because I know I know his thank pictures. You. He was not happy with them <laughs> last time, even though they were. 
done nicely. <laughs> you, you know, they're, they're not that great when you get these reviews of a book. And I got one review and they gave me four stars, but they also wrote in there, the illustrations weren't great. I'm sure my little grandchildren will have fun coloring them in. Oh! <laughs> well, what so about the story? Oh, what about the story? <laughs> you know, yeah, it's a coloring book without reading the story. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have a chance to color this one in. <laughs> so. Once again, thank you both. And thank you for joining us with another edition of Hub City Times Presents Author's Corner.